Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I'm sharing a super exciting haul and I have everything behind me laid out on my table. It is a collective antique haul from quite a few different antique places around me in New Jersey. I have been going to antique stores for the past couple of weeks and gathering a bunch of neutral pieces, items to add in for the spring and summer months. So I hope you're excited. I know a lot of my original subscribers who subscribed when I was doing like more antique farmhouse style decor will love this video. I just wanna share that I will always be someone who loves antiques and thrifting. As it gets warmer and spring is approaching, it gives me that itch to antique again. We are just not gonna go to the extremes that we went last year where everything in my house was antique and I bought like way too much galvanized stuff and wood stuff. I am being very particular about what I bring home because I got overwhelmed pretty quickly, which can happen when you change a style and you just want to buy all of the things. So behind me, you are gonna see very neutral decor. I'm just staying very neutral, whites, creams. I have one galvanized piece, just one. Um, so I'm very excited to share everything with you. I'm trying to like keep everything blocked so that it can be somewhat of a surprise as I pick things up, but we're just gonna go one by one. I'll bring everything up to the camera to show you guys. I have scored some amazing ironstone pieces, which is new to me. I have never collected ironstone, but let me tell you, I'm like addicted to it. It is so fun to find ironstone. It's like finding a needle in a haystack and I like having like treasures to hunt for. So I'm always looking for like Fire King Sunbeam mixing bowls right now. Um, I love mixing bowls, ironstone, just always on the hunt for neutral decor pieces to add into my house. So let's get started. I think I'm gonna share most of the ironstone pieces for last and start on this side. So first up, I have this beautiful galvanized watering can. I think these just look so gorgeous for spring. You can put this outside, inside, hang it on a peg rail. Oh, also before I start, I just wanna say, um, I am okay with paying a little bit more for some of these items because they are vintage or they're antique and they're not creating these things ever again. So I am okay with paying a little bit more. So if that is not your thing, I don't know. Like I paid $35 for this, which I think is a pretty good price. According to the tag, it's from 1617. I don't know if that's real. I mean, the vintage store that I go to seems pretty legit. So, but yes, I am willing to spend a little bit more on pieces that are not being made anymore because I think that is the thrill of it. So I just wanted to put that little disclaimer in there if you guys are like, oh my God, she paid that much for a vintage plate. Not everything is 50 cents anymore, okay? Okay, so I paid $35 for this. I just thought this was gorgeous. It's in such good condition. And I think this will look really cute out on my patio for spring and summer. And I liked that the uh, top here was rusted and the cute little spout. So cute for spring. So we grabbed that. I got this at a cute little antique shop that I've never been to. Um, both of the items that I picked up in her store were unmarked. That's always my luck. I always pick things up without a price. And I brought both of them up to her. She gave me such a good price on them. So this was only $9, this adorable little basket. Um, Honestly, this reminds me of like Studio McGee at Target. So I thought that was beautiful. Only $9 for this. And while I'm at it, this was at the same location unmarked. This is a piece of ironstone. Really cool detail on the bottom of this bowl. Just the inside. And I paid $15 for this. So. Not a bad price for the two items that I got at her local shop. 
And super random, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna include me cleaning up a lot of these pieces, washing them in my sink. Um, there's something like really therapeutic to me about bringing home antique or like Goodwill dishes and cleaning them. And like, I just feel like it makes them look like they have a new life. So if that's something you're interested in, I'm gonna include that at the end of the video of me just cleaning up all my dishes and making them look beautiful again. A lot of times at antique stores, they will pull off the tags. Um, so a lot of the tags are taken off of these pieces. Um, now that I'm looking at this, I don't know. I, you guys will have to teach me a lot about ironstone because I am not that familiar with it yet. I haven't really like sat down and researched much about it. Um, but this is unmarked. This is a set of two bowls. Love me some bowls, this guy's smaller. This larger one doesn't have as much crazing, but this is unmarked. But the crazing on this, let me see if I can get it to focus. The crazing on this almost looks like ironstone, but it looks like way too crazed to be ironstone. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know. Sorry if the lighting isn't that great or if it's not focusing, but these feel like really nice heavy duty um, mixing bowls. And I thought these would look really cute displayed in my hutch. And I think I paid $30 for the set of these. I got this adorable picture. This says, I'm laughing to myself because I said that that watering can was from 1617 and then I flipped this over and I'm like this says 1617 on it too. I think 1617 is like the person's booth number. So <laughs> anyway because I did get this. Did I get this in this booth? I don't know. Okay anyway so <laughs> I feel stupid. That watering can, I don't think it's from 1617, guys. Um, I even said that at the cash register to my friend when we were antiquing. I was like, this says it's from 1617. <laughs> the lady at the cash register was probably like, these stupid girls. Anyway, oh, here comes my cat. This little pitcher was $6. I, this is not ironstone, but I just loved the shape of it. I thought it was so adorable. It's pretty small. It's like the size of my head, but little baby pitcher, $6. Cute for spring. I found this cool bowl. I don't know. There's no markings or anything on it. Um, it does have this like this on it. Looks like it was taken off the other side, but I will probably just flip it around and use it as like a layering piece. Um, it's like a nice tan color. This was only $5 at an antique store, so I picked that up. So if you used to watch my antique videos, I was obsessed with finding Crocs and I still love them, but um, I don't love the ones that have like the thick chocolate band on them. I just like neutral tan Crocs. So a lot of them I did end up getting rid of. I still have a couple in the garage, but like I bought so many of them. If I found them at thrift stores, I bought them. I just want to be like more particular about what I pick up and make sure I really love it. So I did grab this one. Really good condition. It doesn't have any cracks in it or anything. It's a York two gallon Croc all cream, really cute. And something about Crocs in the spring and summer, I just love that look. So here we go again. I did pick up an antique Croc. <laughs> this bowl is amazing. I have never seen an old bowl like this. Uh, I don't know what this is. You guys will have to let me know if you are antique shoppers as well, what this label is. I think that says ovenware right here. Not sure what this is. This was 35 and then the booth was 20% off. I am obsessed with like ticking stripe, gray stripes, 
And when I saw this, there was no chance I was leaving it behind. It's like a really nice cream and then this chunky gray stripe. I love this bowl. Has really pretty crazing at the bottom. You can tell it's old. This is such an awesome piece. Like I will never, I will never get rid of this. I grabbed this. This is a sun-kissed juicer. And I thought this would be pretty for spring sitting out in a hutch. It's like pretty milk glass. I can't remember how much I paid for this and they usually take the tags off in the antique store. So um, I picked that up. This I found on a whim at an antique store. I believe I paid $20 for this. This is like, it almost looks and feels like a crock. Has like that same bottom that a crock does but it's in a pitcher, so pretty. I liked this little detail around the top. I thought this was really cute. And I just really like pitchers for spring. I don't know why, um, but I'm always drawn to them. So I love that. Even if I did like a really pretty collection of pitchers up on top of my hutch here, we'll see, but love this. Next up, I have this pitcher. It says Galaxy on the bottom. And I actually picked this up a couple of weeks ago before I had found um, one of my Ironstone pitchers. So this guy back here in my hutch is my first Ironstone piece that I ever found. And now that I have Ironstone pitchers, I'm thinking I don't love this as much. So. It's okay, I might keep it. I might try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace, but when I was in the antique shop, I did look this brand up and these are really expensive online. So I only paid like 20, 22 for this, I think, but very cute. Love the spout and the handle. I might keep her or she'll go on Facebook Marketplace. No worries. So this was at an antique shop it's definitely not like vintage or antique, I don't think, but this baby cloche, oh my gosh, like this is the size of my hand. It's so little. <laughs> I love this little topper on it. It was displayed with um, like a little nest and an egg in it at the antique store. I just thought this was adorable, so. I picked it up, it was $6. We're getting closer and closer to the Ironstone, which is what I'm most excited to show you, but I have a couple other things. So at the antique store that I got the croc and the sun-kissed juicer at, I purchased my items and I was walking out the door and I noticed this clear tote full of these amber glass Clorox bottles. And I've always been interested in them. Like I just envision us having a house one day with like beautiful laundry room shelves and I can display these amber Clorox bottles on my shelves. I don't know why, I've just like always thought of that in my head. But I walked out there and they were like all rained on and I figured they would be a good price because they were just sitting outside by the back door. So I walked back in and I was very polite. I noticed the Clorox bottles out back. How much are you charging for them? And both the guys were like, just take them. I literally, I think I was like this at them. What? <laughs> but they were like, just take them. They've been sitting outside for months. They said that somebody had just dropped them off. They didn't want them and they gave them to the owners to sell them and they never got around to cleaning them up and putting them inside. So he was like, just take them. So I was so excited. I have said it for years. It never hurts to ask, just ask. And the least people can say is no, or they don't give you a good price, but at least you know you asked because if you're like me, you will think about it for the next four years. That's me. So I'm so thrilled that I asked them and I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five Clorox bottles, old vintage ones for free. They say Clorox on the top. This is the biggest one that I got. I just think these are so cool. I don't know why, but I really love them. And I've always wanted to collect them for my laundry room shelves. 
So I got this one. This one says rainbow full court. This is Clorox and they're really dirty inside. I figured I would um, put some hot water and some soap in them and let them soak. So I got these two. And then I got these two as well. This one still has the cap on it and so does the larger one which is cool and then they also had this in the bin which i'm not very familiar with these but i have seen these in a lot of people's antique hauls uh, a flower frog i think that's what this is called i don't know what the heck you do with this but i was like a lot of people collect these so i'll just grab it fleming no it does not say fleming that says hemming gray so number 40, you guys will have to let me know what the heck you do with this, but I think it's called a flower frog. Weird. What the heck do you do with this? So I picked that up too. Free. Free is for me. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer and probably stand behind the table and hold these things up. You guys, I am so excited. Okay, I'm going to try to not blab too much about my excitement here. Um, and I'm going to try not to blab too much about the ones that I got on Facebook Marketplace. But um, don't hold me to it because I'm very excited about this. And there will be a lot more Ironstone to collect. Let me just say that because I never knew about this stuff. And it is beautiful. I, I don't know how I was such an antique crazed person last year and I never knew about this stuff or I just never like paid attention to it when I went shopping I don't know but I have found some scores over like the last month with ironstone so I'm very excited to share it with you we're gonna start with the best score actually no we'll save that to the end because it's more fun okay that's all there um, this first one, we're just going to go through each. I'll tell you the price. Um, do you want to see the bottom? Should I share the bottom? That might be fun. So, you know, like what type of ironstone. All right, we'll do that. Let me move my camera again. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? Here, let's face it this way. Also, you guys love when my kitties are in. Let me show you my kitties. Here's Charles sleeping by the fire. We have the fire on because it's like 25 degrees in Jersey today. And Phil's right here sleeping on my wicker chair. For once, they're calm while I'm filming, which is a blessing. Okay, so I'll stand over here and just pull everything this way. So this gigantic pitcher, I almost passed out. I'm dramatic. But I almost passed out in the antique store. I could not even believe that this was there. So this says, I don't even know. This is the bottom. The crazing on this is so good. I don't know if it's picking it up, but it has gorgeous crazing, really pretty detail. Love this scalloped look. And it's a pretty, pretty big picture, bigger than my head. So love this one. Oh, I forgot to mention I paid $40 for the large one. I got this at another antique store. Usually, so I just wanna share that I learned if they're unmarked, you can usually tell by the crazing, the shape, how heavy it is, um, and this detail on the picture. So I don't know when this is from. If you do, let me know. But this was only $12. I paid 28 for this one at a different antique store. So to find this for $12, once again, I almost passed out, um, but I was so excited to find this. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous picture. I love these. Then I found this baby picture, uh, Federalist Ironstone. This is the label. Really pretty crazy on this one. I'm trying to get it to focus because that's like the best part of ironstone is all those pretty details on it um i think i paid five or six for this and love that scallop detail 
at that same antique store, I found one of these. I've been looking for one of these for like a solid month now. This says Powell Bishop Ironstone Terrain. Is that what this is called? I think it's a terrain. I paid $28 for this. It does have a small chip in the handle here, but this detailing is so pretty. Let me take that off so I don't break it. Here's the bottom. Ironstone China. A lot of pretty crazing here. A lot of pretty crazing on the inside as well. Love that. I found this one first. I don't know what the style of this is called, but this has really gorgeous crazing too, like on the bottom, all over all over this piece. So I found this one first at a different antique store. It was unmarked. The guy said he would give it to me for $20. So I bought it. And then I went into another antique store a couple days later and this was there for $10. So I was like super salty that I paid 20 for a similar one, but they are different, which I appreciate and I'm glad. <laughs> This is just solid, and then this has like pretty scalloped detail. So I love them both for different reasons, but this one is really cute. A lot of cool crazing on it. Love that scallop detail. And I love when they have this little pointed handle. I think it's so pretty. And if I didn't show you the bottom, this one's unmarked. We still have quite a few pieces to go through. <laughs> Um, I got this. I know they took the sticker off, but this was $12. Just a simple ironstone platter. Has some pretty crazing on it. And this is Homer Laughlin. I never knew that Homer Laughlin China was ironstone. I googled that, so that's fun. Just a simple platter. And then my friend Dominique found this when we were shopping. She knows I'm into this, so it's nice to have an extra set of eyes. And she was like, I think this is ironstone. And she was right. <laughs> this is the bottom. This says, warranted ironstone china something Edward. I don't know. But this was $20. But I don't tend to find, like, very nice detailed platters. I keep finding these which these are beautiful, but I want some with more design to them. So when I found this one, I thought this was really pretty with the different detailing here on the corners. And the detail in this is awesome. It's really hard. I don't know why it won't pick up the really pretty crazing, but it's very crackly. I'm also losing sunlight because the weather in Jersey sucks the past week. Um, okay, a couple more pieces and then I'm going to show you this one set that I got that was like a dream come true. Um, I got this cute little dish for $10. Pretty detailing around here. Uh, Royal Ironstone China, Johnson Bros, England. Got this cool bowl. This was 14. Um, this is the label. Really nice detailing. It's like getting all discolored around the edges. So pretty. And when I was antique shopping, the woman that was ringing me up in one of the stores, she was like, um, she said, this has been going so fast, these types of dishes. Um, she said, this is one of the items that is still popular to this day because obviously not every antique piece is still in but people do still collect ironstone so she was saying to me that um it's very hard for her to find it because she goes hunting in like pa and stuff to sell in her shop so she was saying that it's very hard to find nowadays she was saying that it's good to score it because they're not making any more of it and it's very hard to find so I don't know if she just told me that because she wants me to buy more at her booth or what, but it made me feel better about my purchases. 
All right, these next two dishes, um, these were all stacked with a bunch of dishes. Dishes from Ikea, dishes from Target, at an antique store, I don't know. Just a bunch of random dishes. And then um, I could just tell by the look of these, I flipped them over and sure enough, these are Homer Laughlin. And love the detail on these, these were $4 a piece. There was only two of them, which made me really sad but I scooped them up. So we have two pretty matching plates. And although this feels like a lot, like even me taking it out of the packaging and putting it on the table, I was like, holy moly. But my plan is to really just stack all of the plates really nicely. So all of the platters will be stacked. Um, I planned to stack these two together actually in a hutch, so. Once everything is like stacked beautifully, it's really not gonna feel like that much. So, um, and then there is this antique store on the corner in my town that I have not been to in years. I went there years ago when we first bought our house and I went in there with my mom and I bought this little $3 pewter pitcher that I no longer have. I think I sold it at a yard sale or something. And so I went in there on a whim. He is definitely an older gentleman. He lives above the antique store and I don't think he really gets out to put more antiques in his shop anymore. And I was like, I don't think I'm gonna find any ironstone in here. And sure enough, under a antique hutch, back shoved against the wall were these three ironstone plates. They are so pretty, they need to be cleaned. So that's why it's like really therapeutic for me to bring all this stuff home and clean it up because most of it has been sitting in antique shops and it's not the cleanest. So to clean it all up and like see it in its glory brings me joy, I don't know. Are you weird like that? <laughs> but they're really dirty, but yes, these are like literally, this was sitting under a hutch probably for years. Oh my God, there is a live spider on that. I don't know why I just said spider. Um, Semi-granite, warranted, copyright, Cook and Hancock, ironstone. So pretty. Um, That one has a lot of crazing, but this one actually has even more crazing. Can you guys see that? I don't think you can see that, but so cool. Here's the next one. Look at how filthy this is. I'm editing this video and I forgot to mention that I paid $4 for all three of those plates. What a bargain, right, Mags? <laughs> all right, and then I'm gonna turn you around a little bit more and show you these pieces. So. I am gonna sit down for a second because I've been recording for like 45 minutes. Um, so I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and um, it showed me like results outside of your area and these were in Connecticut. I live in New Jersey. No, I did not drive to Connecticut for these pieces, but they were marked at such a good price. I messaged the guy and I asked him if he would sell them to me um, and ship them. God bless his soul. What a nice man. His name was Michael. He sold these to me and packaged them so well. I'm actually going to insert the clip right here of me opening this box and show you how well he packaged them and my excitement. So let me add that in really quick. Hey guys, ignore my messy kitchen behind me. We live here, um, but my package just got delivered. Oh my God, this is like Christmas morning. Holy crap, he did package this very nicely. What a nice guy. He packed this so well. I pray everything is intact, but I can't imagine. Yeah, as you can see, I wanted you guys to be able to see the packing. As you can see, it looks very well packed. 
Oh my gosh, he did an excellent job. Yeah. So he packaged them beautifully. They arrived, he shipped them Saturday. Today is Monday and they're already here. And he said that these were either his mom's or his mother-in-law's pieces. I guess nobody in Connecticut near him collects ironstone because let me just say, minus this giant pitcher, this right here, he had listed for ten dollars. Can we have a moment of silence? Um, I paid ten dollars for this. All right. So he had all of that for ten dollars, and this pitcher. This is the one I got for twelve dollars at the antique store. Okay. This pitcher, he sold me for five dollars. Five dollars. And now, of course, I did have to pay for shipping, and that was a big, bigger box, um, had a lot of packing material in it, so I did pay a good chunk for shipping, but I was willing to because, um, first of all, to find a collection like this is very difficult. Um, this came with three mugs and five plates, um, the matching cream and sugar, the gravy boat and the tea kettle. So to find a matching set like that is very, very difficult. And nonetheless, for $10, I, I was in shock. So, and then to have another piece listed for $5, I just could not believe it. Um, this one has like some really pretty cracking details on the front. And this is warranted superior ironstone china mercer. Pottery Co. This is the label of that one. And he messaged me today and he was like, I think it was delivered this morning. Um, he was really nervous that it was all going to be shattered, but I sent him a picture. I'm like, everything's intact. I thanked him so much. I actually gave him a little bit more money because he told me it took him two hours to pack the box. And I'm sure if you watched that footage, you would have seen why it was bubble wrapped to the extreme but I'm sure it's because it was in his family and he wanted it to be safe. I told him I would take really good care of it and it would be in my collection for years to come. So I'm so glad I get to enjoy pieces that have been special to people. Like, I don't know, something about that, like that just makes these my favorite pieces now um, because they were part of somebody's life before. I think that's just so cool about antiques is that we kind of keep these pieces around and I don't know it's just so neat I just love old stuff like this I always will it's just always been something that I love so yeah to find this entire collection and the crazing on this you guys it's so it's so good I am just I could just sit around all day and play with these dishes like this was, this is so much fun to me, like collecting pieces like this. I'm just having a ball. So yes, I paid 15 technically for this whole set. Um, I gave him a little bit more money and I did pay for shipping. So it was more, but totally worth it. I am very excited about this little collection that I have curated here. I think these pieces are awesome and I cannot wait to keep finding more pieces as the weather gets warmer. Um, a friend and I want to travel to PA. So I live very close to Pennsylvania. So I'm thinking that in the very near future, once it gets warmer, we are going to have like an antiquing day. And I think I'm going to film it, like come antiquing with us. We'll see how many stores we can hit and what we find. I think that would be so much fun but that is like the place to find vintage antique stuff. So I am very excited for that this summer. I think we'll be doing that, my friend and I, and maybe we can get our men to tag along. So I am going to clean all of this stuff up. If you are not interested in that, I will see you guys in the next video, but I find this so therapeutic. I think it's one of my favorite parts about bringing old Goodwill antique finds home. I just love to like relax and clean the dishes.
but I actually hate doing the dishes, like dishes that we use every day. So I don't know how any of that makes sense, but we're gonna head over to the kitchen and get all these pieces cleaned up and give them a new life. So if you're interested in that, let's head over to the kitchen and get these cleaned up. I laid out some dish towels next to me. I've got a candle burning. I got my iPad out and I'm watching some of my favorite YouTubers and I'm gonna start cleaning up some of my dishes. This is so calming to me and truly so enjoyable for me. So I'm gonna clean them up and put on some nice music for you guys to listen to. And let me know if this is something that you like to do as well. This was the dirtiest plate and it ended up being probably the most beautiful of the set of three. Look at the detail in this. Oh, love it. 